guys welcome to part four okay now uh, let's uh, continue with uh, V-Ray over here <coughs> okay over in the uh, V-Ray tab over here you'll find uh, different, different options general ones for uh, geometry uh, lighting uh, materials and uh, ray tracing in uh, principle you should uh, leave uh, these ones alone uh, they're pretty self-explanatory, like in uh, the lighting, if you want to render lights or the default lights or shadows or uh, show only the GIs and stuff like that, reflections, refractions and all that good stuff. Uh, the uh, really nice uh, thing over here is uh, this environment tab over here. Now what you can actually do is uh, click over here on the override environment and uh, over here in the background texture you can uh, add a sky same as with the uh, mental ray renderer so just uh, click on this uh, little doohickey over here go over here into image name click on this folder and just uh, select the sky and wait for a second and there we go alright now <coughs> you can actually uh, play with it a little Say if you wanna uh, make it uh, wrap around the uh, scene in a cubic fashion, or uh, <laughs> yeah, take a look at that, uh, or a mirror ball, or a screen, or something like that. But uh, usually, you should keep it under uh, spherical, and the actual texture you put uh, into this should be slightly uh, panoramic <laughs> for the lack of a better word okay now uh, over here into the GI texture you can either put in a texture or just edit the color usually I go for something like a uh, I don't know cappuccino or <laughs> uh, sort of like this uh, butter color or something like that uh, this uh, basically dictates the uh, general uh, color of the light that uh, that's uh, gonna be in your scene say if your uh, scene uh, it's something like uh, a dawn or dusk uh, and you're usually gonna go with something like a color like uh, this I guess something along these lines but anyway you, I, you get the point of it okay, let's take it back and uh, something like this okay. okay in the reflection and refraction texture you can actually put in uh, reflections so that uh, well over here for example uh, if uh, we render this uh, right now without, without actually putting any textures into this we're gonna see reflections of uh, well our bike or uh, the ground if we're gonna put up a plane over here but uh, in the it's not gonna reflect the sky okay the sky that we have over here so uh, for that to actually uh, happen we have to put uh, the same sky into this uh, little node over here so uh, let's just click on this little guy over here select file and uh, just do the same thing all over again okay and uh, this is pretty much it there are of course a bunch of other uh, options but uh, we'll keep it uh, like this for now Okay, in the indirect illumination, be sure to uh, have this clicked on and uh, be very cautious when you're uh, using reflective caustics because, well, uh, if you're having uh, a shader that has a very small eccentricity and uh, a very high specular, uh, specularity to it, like this uh, chrome engine over here, this chrome shader, uh, you're gonna there is a possibility that you're gonna get some uh, artifacts come render time like some uh, small uh, white dots and stuff like that so if that ever happens be sure to uh, uncheck the reflective caustics over here okay. uh, now over here we have these are the basically the two engines uh, with which uh, V-Ray actually works now by default your primary engine is uh, functions on irradiance on a irradiance map and the other one on brute force 
the other ones uh, <coughs> focus on uh, other aspects like photons and light and stuff like that but usually you should uh, keep it with the radiance and brute force at least for now and uh, the other same things uh, are pretty we're not gonna go into them right now same as with the settings over here and the uh, translator and uh, render elements okay I very rarely go into those but anyway <coughs> so since we uh, had a look into this let's uh, make a plane so that we have to actually have a ground on which the uh, our bike uh, sits on let's just make one real quick okay let's resize it a bit boom, boom. something like this okay let's uh, Let's recheck our, uh, excuse me, our light over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go back into our perspective. And uh, now we're, oh yeah, let's uh, bring this, actually let's just push the uh, ground uh, a little ways down. This happens, I don't really know why. <laughs> anyway, okay. It's because of the tweak mode, I uh, couldn't see my uh, move uh, tool over there. Okay, something like this, I guess, so that it doesn't uh, really eat our uh, tires up. Okay, now we're pretty much uh, ready to set our render. Uh, let's, yeah, let's smooth this out uh, before, though. Let's just give it to just to be sure okay something like this alrighty now uh, since we have uh, our scene pretty much all set up uh, except for these uh, little uh, things over here which I think uh, we're gonna leave like this just because why not <laughs> and uh, you can do whatever whatever you want with them and uh, yeah, let's go on and uh, make our first render. So, let's go over here. We have uh, all our settings already set up. Let's put in something like uh, 720p, 1280 by 720, close, and then just uh, let's pick a, pick a sort of a more interesting angle. something like this okay just uh, click on render and let's see what we come up with okay now uh, this is gonna take a little while <coughs> depending on your uh, PC uh, but uh, it should be done in a couple of minutes Okay, so uh, this is pretty much what I came up with. It uh, was done in about 2 minutes and 5 seconds, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with uh, how it came out, especially with the uh, headlight over here. It doesn't look too shabby at all. Um, yeah, so yeah, this is, uh, I think this is pretty much it with our uh, tutorial over here. Uh, with the uh, this uh, motor, motor bike as well. If you want to modify uh, something, uh, add new textures or geometry or whatever, feel free to do so. Uh, if you're having problems or anything, uh, feel free to comment uh, over here or on uh, my channel or even email me if you want. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. If, you'd, uh, if you like uh, liked what you saw, uh, feel free to rate and or subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.